Hey, it's Alex from Camelot, and you are watching CMS TV. Rock on. Right back here on Chris Aiken Presents, and want to thank Stoic Steve for stopping by. You feeling any better, Eric? I am. I am. Wow. Sorry, man. I had to like take five on that one. That's all right. Stoic, Stoic filled in stoically as always. Good. He's a good dude. He is. He's he's very very low key. I'm not used to that on this show. That's for sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, well, dude. Um, let's get ready to start wrapping this thing up, man. But before we do, uh, just what are what are you doing for Christmas this year? I know with with your girl kind of hobbled, it kind of limits things. No uh right um actually aiden we, we had him out here for thanksgiving i talked about okay. that last week uh we're gonna have him back out he's coming back for he's gonna drive out for christmas so he gets okay. to see his mom for christmas and you know to a mom that means the most we let like, sure. she sees her boy on a on a holiday like that so he's he's just in vegas so he's gonna drive out we're gonna do christmas here i just uh i picked up a ham okay a spiral cut ham that Winco had a special on. Nice. And those keep for a long time. Susan worries about that stuff. She's like, oh, how is it going to go bad? You know, uh, you froze, so like, did you freeze it? You don't, you don't have to actually. Okay. Like if you, it's, it's sealed in a vacuum sealed. Oh yeah. That's right too. Yeah. Thing that it comes in with the net. It has that mm -hmm. weird netting on there, like a fishnet stocking is in it. <laughs> Right. I don't know. But uh that thing says it's good till like February fifteenth. So oh, all right. So you're good. In the refrigerator as is, so we're most certainly good to just whip this thing out when he comes to town. And uh and I figured that was a good thing to get because you can make uh sandwiches, you can go fry up some of that ham and make some eggs for breakfast. Yeah. Right. This thing we, we could eat on that thing for, for a few days. Hell yeah. Uh, and then I, I like to do like my my mom, she does the Italian mix of cultures you know right. like uh i like to do a, an italian thing as well so i maybe i'll i'll do a chicken parm or something to go with that ham or okay lasagna or so big ziti or something like that maybe to go uh with it just to give that little so basically cr christmas for you is a cooking day man any excuse i love to eat it sucks <laughs> I, I wish i didn't have heart disease and i could just woo all the time uh but um yeah I, i'm gonna cook and then i do get to see my real mom actually she's doing christmas eve okay so we'll go to andrea ferretino's uh house for christmas eve and i'll take we'll take aiden with us and the three of us will hobble hobble over there and she'll sure. probably do a good uh christmas evening dinner that's cool well without saying where exactly she lives does she live far i mean is it a few hour drive or is it uh, an hour drive how far is is your mom no, from where you like 12 are miles, 12 miles 12 oh, all right so it ain't far at all okay that's cool so it's not it's not one of those things where you might see your mom like once a year you probably see your mom somewhat often a couple uh, times a year not three, as four much times as, not, not as much as uh as i'd like you know uh, but again, my, my mother and I are so much alike that it's like, sure. God, it's just, it drains both of us to be around each other. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> we, <laughs> we just talk over each other. Ah, right? Shut up. Let me talk. <laughs> uh, you know, so anyways, but no, it's great. I love my mom so much. I'm so much like her. Uh, and so I look forward to seeing it. She did come by and uh, saw us. Um, they came by the beach mats from West from, uh, I think it, two days after my birthday or something. And they brought me a little gift. You okay. Know, Amazon gift card or something. And I had made some some uh, homemade pizzas. I just happened nice. to have made. She, <laughs> uh, she she loved my pizza actually. She was a That's cool. Like my pizza. So that was cool. Well, that is cool, man. Well, it sounds like you got good plans. You got much more planned than me. I I got the official word yesterday that um my kids are going off with their mom for for um Christmas and right. um and um kelly's doing her thing with her family for christmas so now is that because you you're kind of an ebenezer scrooge and they know it or what well they do know it they do know that i i want nothing to do with any holiday right. other than it's things not expect this is totally expected yeah and, and you know when when we got divorced i mean we actually get along we 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 get along pretty like we were texting uh last week 
when I had my, my burn anniversary day was, it was the 29th anniversary of my, my getting smoked. Okay. And she sent me a nice text, you know, saying, you know, hope you're doing good and glad you're still here. And, but you know, blah, 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 that type of a thing. Sure. And, um, yeah, so we get along. Bottom line is we get along far better than we ever did when we were married. Now, I guess we were meant to be friends, not married, but, um, yeah, she, she's known, you know, ever since she knew me that I'm not that guy. I, I don't like to celebrate birthdays. I don't like to celebrate Christmas or Easter or any of it. You know, I, I don't have time for it. I don't have time to take a day off to do something stupid and silly. You know, if I'm doing something stupid or silly, it's gotta be something I want to do. Not going to somebody's house to open a bunch of fucking presents that I don't even want to buy. You know, I, I, and I, I know that is the total Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, because you certainly seem to like those presents you got that you showed me today. I do. I, I very did much did. Good, didn't it? I, it did, but at the same time, you'll, I'm, I'm also the same guy that has not been in a store, and I've been in a store one time in 11 years. Right. I don't like to shop. I hate being in stores. I don't. I, I, I don't like, I, I'll tell you what it is. And you've, you've done this too, but you're nicer than me. So I know you play it differently than me. Okay. It's when you get a gift that sucks. Okay. When I get a gift that sucks, I am not good at pretending that it's something I want. I'm just like, like if I didn't want this thing, I'd be like, Ah, oh, cool. And I'd set it down immediately. And you know, and to, to where they <laughs> Yeah, to where they just know that I it's just a piece of shit that I don't want. Right. And, and it's so uncomfortable. I'm not good at faking anything. I'm just not good at faking anything. Right. So it's 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 terrible. Oh look. Socks. Okay. What's next? You know, I'm always yeah. on to the next thing. I hate faking shit too. Baby. I do too. I hate it. I mean, I'll fake that I know that my parents are Santa Claus just to keep the presents going, but that's sure. Like, but that's but fun. but you'll you'll play the game a little bit. You'll be you'll be like, man, I, I so appreciate that you bought this for me and that's nice of you and blah 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 blah. And you know, hopefully my gift is as good as this for you. You'll play the game. Right. I'm just like onward you know right. what else you got you know and and it doesn't play well on holidays so and and honestly kind of you know i probably shouldn't say this but i will my ex kind of beat birthdays out of me quite honestly because her birthday and mine exact same day which is weird but literally day month and year we were we were 22 hours different in in age okay it's very weird how that worked, but needless to say, I couldn't just blow off my birthday. You know, I, you know, came time to be in the birthday. Well, I couldn't just say, I don't want to do anything today because right. it was also her birthday. So it had to turn into yeah. an event. Uh, yeah. It had to be, well, we need to go to the fancy restaurant or we need the gifts and, and if you don't get me the flowers, you ruined my day. And, but you know, it, it was always that. And it was like, I just fucking hate this. So once she left and the same with Christmas, like she always made a big, and, and this is, I'm not hammering her. I want to be clear that I'm not hammering her because I know it's me that deserves the hammering here. So please people direct your hate at me on this little things like doing the Christmas tree. Right. Obviously, that's a family thing. Put the tree up, get with the kids, everybody puts the ornaments on the tree, put the lights on the thing, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't be bothered with that shit. I didn't want to do it. I found the tree stupid, and I didn't want to do it. And so, therefore, I wasn't family-oriented. Right. And she's right to be mad at me about that. I, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to say she's not. I... I definitely get that certain things about my, unlike everybody else, it's like that gets divorced is like, my wife is a cunt. I hate her. Everything she did was bad. And I was perfect. No, mm. I, I, 
hers and my marriage broke up because I was 50% of the problem. And I, and I was, and I, I, it's why I won't ever get married again, because I don't think I can do it. I don't think I could do it the right way. I, I hear too many stories by too many friends that are fighting and the things that they're fighting about are absolutely divorceable to me. And they're not big things. You know, they're, they're things to me where I'd be like, get the fuck out. And it's little things. It's not, it's not, well, she cheated. It's like, well, she expected me to cancel my plans because her family had an emergency (laughs) and I'll be like, fuck that. I'm not canceling my plans. I waited six months for these Metallica tickets. Fuck your dead father. You know, that's how I think in my head. Right. And, And I'm selfish. I'm selfish with my time and I admit it. And that's why I can't do it. But that's why Christmas and holidays are just not for me. I think I said last week on the show, didn't I, that my favorite thing to do at Christmas is be left alone. Yeah. Which I'm getting my wish this year. Be left left alone and rant bah humbug every seven seconds. You know what? I'm going to, I think there's football games this year. I think. And I'm, I'm seriously thinking I've got a bottle of Gentleman Jack in my freezer I'm thinking I'm going to I'm going to play a drinking game with myself. I'm going <laughs> to drink the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody else. Merry Christmas. I, I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to every time there's a either a first down or a play over 20 yards or something, I'm going to drink a shot. You know what Chris Lincoln drinks alone? He prefers to be by himself. Yep. <laughs> with my partner, Jimmy Beam, and I'll drink alone. Yeah, <laughs> but that's that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing is just having a day with nobody to stop me, to nobody to interfere in my day, drinking, and just drink and be peaceful, be at peace with myself, and not not annoy anybody, and not be annoyed by anybody. Saddened by your aspirations of Christmas Day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not it's not the glamorous thing that everybody else is planning on doing, but. Maybe, maybe something will change that later. I, you know, for me, I, you know, it's not, I've no, yeah. With 40, as soon as I, you hit forties, like my expectations for, for what presents I was going to get went way down. That's right. where, like the amounts of money you're getting from mom and dad, you know, decrease down to a small amount or whatever. It's like you, you, you just go to parties and you just bring me, bring a bottle of booze or there's no more of that. Maybe if you're in a relationship, you'll give each other a present. But as far as Christmas being about my own personal gain gift wise, my, my whole expectations of that went down in my forties. So now in my fifties, I'm like surprised if I get anything at all. However, uh, with that said, you also realize that if the average lifespan is like, you know, 75, now we're finding out for men at 72, like, you know, you got, what, 22? I got 20 Christmases left, man. Huh? Let's get on the fucking nog, bro. Let's get the real <laughs> tree this time. Let's, You know what I mean? Right. Like we only have so many left. Let's, like, set aside all our personal baggage and shit. You know what? Like, I have two cats that are in this place, and they, we all share this uh, domicile, if you will. And, you know, the tree was really awesome for them. They loved it. They love having that tree there. They're, like, doing those... Um, zoomies around the house you know, right they're excited and they're smelling nature right in the beach condo west you know what i mean and, and i think it looks beautiful like i enjoyed uh sharing the christmas spirit and showing pictures of the tree for people the california christmas you know because in california christmas is kind of suck because it doesn't seem like mm-hmm. christmas you got to make it christmas yeah and uh and susan's the same way she she is a, a mom she raised her kids with her with her husband or, or that's passed on rob um and they always gave their kids a christmas they had their traditions and sure. so forth and so I, I want her to to be happy uh as well so when with her injury i i picked up the slack i went i hit up costco i got that tree i went and um she had her set of lights i'm all that's not enough goddamn lights i'm going to <laughs> um, I go to walmart to get some more lights and um you know so i put up twice as many lights this year and then you know what i got some more led lights and i went out on that beach balcony and i put some led lights out there too and uh i i didn't buy the small eggnog i bought the big ass eggnog okay nice big ass i'm getting on the nog <laughs> and um who knows what'll happen uh we're, we're gonna uh have christmas songs we're gonna watch the parade 
Um, we're gonna get. Wow, you're all in. I'm all in, dude. We'll get her son some gifts. I told you he's like a reincarnated guy. For I think he died in the fifties. Okay. So like, like all I have to do is buy him stuff. I think Richie Cunningham would like. Nice. Like, oh, Richie Cunningham would wear that, and then I, and I give it to him. He's like, "Oh, yes, nice." Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I I already got I online shopped. I don't like to go to stores either, dude. I'm with you, yeah. but you, you do know, Mister Aiken, they have online shopping, right? I mean, yeah, but you still then you spend even more time dicking around looking at stuff. Maybe the, Susie, we have it down to where I just go make your list, literally give it to me, and oh, your wish is my command. Whatever okay. you send me, it's ordered, baby. It's do the, you still wrap it? Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna, so yeah, I'm gonna I can't. Maybe I don't know. No, not birthday shit. Christmas shit. Yes, uh, Christmas shit. I will wrap. Mm. Not birthday stuff so much. Yeah. I might just. That that sometimes that comes in the mail early, and she's like, "Can I have it now?" And I go, "Yeah, you can have it now." Go Any ahead. gift wrapping I do is is in the form of Amazon boxes. Here, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there was. I, I've got her some extra stuff that she she didn't ask for, some additional uh, things. But yeah, stuff will be uh, starting to show up uh, coming this week, and you know I'm gonna make it the best Christmas I could possibly do. I'm gonna cook my little ass off. There you go, nice. And then you got then you got your gig on the 29th. What about New Year's? You got a plan for New Year's night or are you uh no. I mean, and that's kind of, maybe that's kind of awesome. My girl has a broke leg cuz then we know we don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. Cuz they I tell you, drinkers like to go out on those drinking Yeah, homes. that's it's amateur night. Yeah. No, I don't need to do that. I would rather watch your balls drop. I want to watch your balls drop and <laughs> look. <laughs> yeah. What, do you? I'm I'm curious, especially out there. Do you stay up till the ball drops, even though you know it's already dropped like three hours earlier? No, we watch the 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 first ball drop. Do they show it? They show it and they show it at nine o'clock out there. Yeah, you can watch that. It's the East Coast feed. Okay, I didn't know that they did that. I when I of course when I lived out there was 35 years ago, but back then. It was all delayed, and it was so dumb. It was like 255 or whatever, and they're like showing New York. You right. know, and they're like, hey, the ball in five minutes. And I was like, get the fuck out of here with this nonsense. You know, everybody that was there is already asleep. Right. You know? <laughs> Luckily, time doesn't really work like that. Time is a made-up fucking thing anyway. You know what I mean? It is. But it's like, if, if somehow you, you were able to to get the show in California or bet on a sporting game. You already knew three hours before. Right. And obviously it's silly. It doesn't work that way. It's like, boom, it's, it's on at uh, nine Pacific 12 Eastern. You know what I mean? They That's put right. It on. Everyone's watching at the same time, whatever time that may fucking be. Exactly. Yeah. So. Well, it sounds like you got some good plans for the holidays, dude. I have literally none. And I, and that is the good plan for me. That is a good plan, believe it or not. But, um, but yeah, and I think that's going to wrap it up for us for the year, dude. I'm we'll be back whatever day the first first Monday is in January, January. I think. You know, yeah. whatever that day is, we'll be back, but um 2 weeks off, which maybe you don't need as much as I do, but I need it. I have been in front of the camera entirely too much these last 6 months with Seth's show and this show and CMS and blah, blah, blah. It's just, <laughs> I need a break. I need a minute. But um, we will That's definitely great. be back. Um, I would like can, to say, go ahead. Dinner, Please. Uh, to, I would like to address our fans. I want to tell you how much uh, I appreciate you all. And uh, I hope you have the merriest of Christmases, everybody. I really do. Make, make the most out of it, man. We only have so many left. That's right. You know, put all your bullshit aside, man. Put a smile. Get on the nog. <laughs> get on the nog and make it happen all right? do shots of nog is that what you're saying yes that's exactly Damn. what i'm saying yeah you like the eggnog huh but you gotta put the brandy in it buddy yeah you i know? get that but ugh, i just don't like the. it's too sweet for me sugar smack must love the nog i'm sure he does buddy. <laughs> nog with psilocybin <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, and, and obviously, I know I talk a whole lot about fucking being anti everything, but I'm I I very much appreciate everybody that watches this show or any of my shows, but specifically this show because this was the risk one. The other one isn't mine, you know. The Seth show is Seth's, 
but uh, and CMS is kind of you know it's it's so established that it is what it is. This show was definitely the the I don't want to say a risk because it wasn't a risk. It was just me and you getting together to have some fun. But <laughs> but it's different, and and I very much appreciate how popular this thing has gotten in a very I still say a small amount of time. Mm-hmm. So thank you to everybody that watches it and appreciates it. And mm-hmm. we appreciate you guys probably more than you know. And, um, you know, and go out there and have a good, good holiday, whatever that means to you. Obviously, Eric and mine are different. Yours are probably different. So whatever that means to have a good, good holiday season, go do it. And don't get bogged down in the bullshit. How's that? Yep. And happy new year. And happy new year too. We come Namaste, back. Namaste, bitches. And come back in 2024. Hopefully not the last year of existence, but that's a whole that's a whole downer topic for another day. <laughs> All right, so let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, for Chris Aiken presents, I am Chris Aiken, and I'm Eric Ferentinos, and we will see you in 2024. See ya.